Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Roma. It has been a while since we did a makeup look, so I'm super excited. I'm going to be featuring the no filter required look um, of this season, and I'm gonna be using the look for light to medium skin. So I love when Mary Kay does this because they know that we have different skin types, and so they modify the look a little bit depending on what your skin tone is. So of course we uh, this video or uh, this look is designed to be video friendly. So that's kind of what we're focused on today. Of course you want to be using good skincare. And for me, when I'm doing a video, I love to use the oil mattifier to keep my oily skin down. Um, using the foundation primer with SPF 15. This is like the secret of airbrushing your face. It is amazing. And then um, my favorite, the liquid uh, 3D time-wise uh, liquid foundation is awesome. And I like the matte in that as well. We have concealer and corrector for all of those spots that you need working on. Um, but let's start with our color and let's start with our brows because that's kind of important. So what you want to do is, let me just grab, a, we have an eyebrow brush. And what you want to do is brush out your eyebrows to start with. And then we have two brow products that are just fabulous. The first is our Precision Brow Liner. It is nice and precise. So what you wanna do with this is just find that starting point of your brow and map it out. So you're just going to lightly draw a line along the bottom part of your brow. And you can use little dashes to fill it in a little bit. This is so nice because it really is a precision liner. You can get really, really precise there. And then we are going to just fill that in now that you've kind of lined and mapped them out with our volumizing brow tint. So this just brushes on and this also kind of keeps everything in place, right? Teams, teams those unruly brows. If you are one of those people that don't have a lot for brows, we actually, I don't know if you know this, but we have a Lash and Brow Building Serum um, that will help to grow your brows in those places that you need a little bit more help with. Usually it takes about four weeks, so be patient with it, but it is fabulous. And the other thing we can do to enhance our brow area and to help with, um, getting some face shape on our um some shape on our face is we can use a little bit of our concealer perfecting concealer right up underneath our brow then we'll use our cream eye color brush and just blend that in so that just creates like a highlighting provides some a highlight for our eye area and our brow area and provide some shape because a camera will flatten your face out quite a bit, especially webcams. So this provides some contour. Speaking of contour, that is where we are going to head next because we, again, want to give our face some shape. So today with light colored skin, we're gonna be using Latte and Glaze and I've got our um, cheek brush here. I'm gonna use the flat side, pick up some of the color on Latte. Now, don't be fooled by this. It looks light, but it actually shows up quite dark on this skin. You can see that there. So my skin tone is kind of on the darker end of the light to medium spectrum. Um, so I can probably handle a lot of the color both ways. Now I'm gonna to go to our cheek color on the rounded part of the bristles. And today we are using, with this one, Rosy Nude. Just getting that on the apples of our cheeks, along the cheekbone. Adding some color. And then I want to use the longer bristles at the end for our highlighter, which is glazed. I'm gonna pull that along the upper cheekbone area. 
I'm gonna do um, a little dash along the temples and the cupid's bow point on my lips. And then we'll use our all over powder brush just to blend everything in. So now our face has a little bit of shape, right? Awesome. Okay, so for the eye colors for this, we are using Rosewood, Hazelnut, and Espresso. And we're doing a fairly basic look with this. So I'm gonna take our all over eyeshadow brush and pull up that Rosewood. You can see it's a favorite of mine. I don't have it look pretty here because these are the ones that I use. And this is going to be our base. It's got a bit of shimmer in it, super pretty. So this is going to go from the lashes up to the crease area. Just like that. And then I am going to use our crease brush and hazelnut and put this right in the crease. So the crease is that groove above your eyeball. So I like to start in the outer corner and just back and forth in that groove. And then we're going to use for our enhanced color, <clears throat> our accent color espresso. So this is a lovely neutral look. And I am just going to pop this in the outer corner of the eye because that again gives it some depth. You can see if I pull back a little bit, you can see the face as a whole. Get it in the outer corner. You could as well, now I'm using our smudger brush, um, pull this just underneath as well to provide some extra depth there. And then I'm gonna use our blending brush just to brush that all together. Our blending brush has these long fluffy bristles. So it blends really, really nicely. And then we are going to pop our eyes a little bit with our liquid eyeliner. gonna do a fairly thin line along the upper lashes as close to the roots of the lashes as possible if it's not perfect don't be alarmed or upset we will work with it you can see I've got some uh, abrupt edge on that one side so what I'm gonna do is go back to our brow brush on the other side is our little liner brush. I'm just going to soften that out a little bit so it's not so abrupt. Build up our lashes, get some intensity going with our lash intensity, mascara, This is a really great summer look. I love it. All right, and then we're gonna line our lips. And we're gonna stay fairly nude with rosewood for this look. And I'm going to use our lip brush for that. If you wanted to take it up a notch and add some sparkle, you could use our new Sunstone uh, Sparkle Lipstick. It is amazing. That would work with this look too. So there you have it. This is our no filter required look 
for um, light to medium skin tone. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions or want to purchase products, be sure to consult your local independent beauty consultant. If you live here in Canada and you don't have one, I would be happy to help you. My website will be in the description. Thanks so much.